In this lesson, magpo-focus lang tayo on how to graph a piecewise function. Let's say we have f of x is equal to negative 3 when x is less than negative 1. f of x is equal to 3x minus 5 when x is greater than 1. And f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 4 when x is less than or equal to negative 1. So, bago natin siya i-graph sa final graph natin dito, i-record muna natin kung paano ginagraph itong mga different functions natin. Sa so first case, sa so first function natin, f of x is equal to negative 3. So, alam natin na ito ay constant function. Okay, try natin siya i-graph. So, kapag meron tayong partition plane, hahanapin lang natin si negative 3 kay y-axis. So, si negative 3 ay located below the x-axis. This is our x-axis, then y. So, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Yeah. Then, i-graph na natin siya. So, ito yung value o yung graph ng ating f of x is equal to negative 3. So, madali lang si constant function. Second natin ay f of x is equal to 3x minus 5. Yan naman ay linear function. Lesson ninyo nung grade 8 kayo. Ang graph ng linear function ay straight line. I'll try natin siya i-graph. Let's say ito yung partition plane natin. Then, ito ay nasa form na y is equal to mx plus b or the slope form. So, mukha na kagad natin si y-intercept. Ang y-intercept natin ay yung constant. Si negative 5. So, sa y-axis natin, doon siya katama. So, negative 5 below the x-axis. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Dito siya. Pwede natin i-extend yung ating arrow. Or ating line. Para kay y-axis. Negative 5. Then we have the slope. 3. Alam natin sa fraction that is equivalent to 3 over 1. So the rise over run, rise tayo ng 3, then run tayo ng isa to the right. So 1, oh, from the y-intercept, 3 units up. 1, 2, 3, then 1 unit to the right. Then 1 unit, dito yung isa natin point. Then, just connect the two points. Ayan. O, ganyan. Kung paano mag-graph ng linear function. In third natin, f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 4. Siya naman ay quadratic function. Lesson ninyo ng grade 9. So, ang graph ng quadratic function ay curve. Or ito yung tawag nating Parabola. Ayan. So, ang ginagawa natin, nag-represent tayo ng value ni x. O, values of x. Let's say x is negative 1, 0, or 1. O, kahit tatlo lang. Basta makuha lang natin yung pinaka vertex niya. Then, y. Okay, hanapin natin si y. So, substitute lang natin. Si f of x, pwede i-interchange ng y. Pwede lang sila. So, f of negative 1 is equal to, substitute natin, 2 times negative 1 square minus 4. So, negative 1 square, don't forget yung rule natin ng PEMDAS. So, exponent muna. 
negative 1 square, 1, times 2. So that is 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Next, f of 0. Oh, by the way, pwede natin isulad dito. Negative. f of 0, so 2 times, palitan si x ng 0. Square, minus 4. So, 0 square, that is 0 times 2. So, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So, negative 4. Then, f of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 square minus 4 is equal to 1 square, which is 1 times 2. So, 2 minus 4, negative 2. So, negative 2. Try natin siya i-graph sa ating Cartesian plane. Erase muna natin ating parabola. Try natin siya i-graph dito. So, ito, negative 1, negative 2. So, negative 1 for x axis, then negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. Next, 0, negative 4, negative 3, negative 4. So, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So, andito siya. 0, negative 1. Then 1, negative 2. So positive 1, then negative 2. Ayan. So ito na ngayon yung ating curve natin, or the parabola. Ayan. Okay. So ayan yung graph ng ating tatlong function. Pero since nasa piecewise function tayo, ito consider natin itong mga inequalities natin, yung mga conditions natin. So, sa first condition natin, ito yung graph natin, x is less than negative 1. Mas maliit daw sa negative 1. Okay? So, kapag ito yung negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Alam natin na ang graph daw niya ay nandito. Ayan. Pero ang i-consider lang natin ay yung less than negative 1. O mas maliit sa negative 1. So alin yung mga mas maliit sa negative 1 dito? Ito ang negative 1. Okay? So i-cut lang natin siya hanggang ito si negative 1. Okay? So negative 1, hanggang dito lang siya. Pero take note, yan ay naka-open hindi kasama talaga si negative 1. So, mas maliit pa sa kanya. So, hindi kasama si negative 1, yan ay magiging hollow. Hindi kasama si negative 1. Open siya dyan. Next, 3x minus 5 when x is greater than negative 1. So, ito yung graph natin kanina. So, try natin ilipad dito. So, negative 5, start natin ito. Negative 5, and then, at some point, saka 1, 2, 3, then 1. Ito siya. Connect natin. And up to infinity. Condition natin, x is greater than 1. So, x, dito siya, then 1. Ang kukunin lang natin ay greater than 1. Lahat ang nasa right side niya. So, yung intersection niya, cut natin. Then, hindi din kasama si 1. So, halo ulit tayo. Halo tayo kay 1. Then, paakit lang tayo. So, erase na natin yung going down. Nagalit na natin hindi sila kasama sa ating mga. Negative. Negative. So going up tayo. Up to infinity. Next, then tayo sa quadratic. So, ito yung graph natin kanina. 
pansinin na x is less than or equal to 1. So, kunin na natin less than or equal to 1. Mag-graph natin. Negative 4. Then, negative 1, negative 2. 1, negative 2. Condition natin is x is less than or equal to negative 1. So, lahat naman na nasa left side ni 1. Left side ni 1. Siyempre, equal to 1 including na si 1. So, ibablockin natin si 1. Then, yung curve natin going to the negative. Ayan. So, ito na nga yung magiging graph natin. So, ang final graph natin ay ito na. Ito yung straight lines. Ito naman pa-curve. Okay. Ayan. Ayan kung paano mag-graph ng piecewise function.